Be willing to endure hardship for a long period of time. That in particular is something that has helped get me through some of the longest periods of difficulty, I hope can help you as well. Uh, right now we're going through a period of time where so many people are feeling like that things would be over by now, that the difficulty would be over, that we'd be getting back to an, a, a, some sort of different normal that you can relax. And the truth is that there's still a long way to go. Resi developing your mental resilience um, and the life and the world that we're living through right now is both a marathon. Both of them are a marathon, not a sprint. And as you think about developing your mental resilience, keep in mind that it's about being willing to endure hardship for a long period of time. Because if you are willing, um, it is you stress. If you are unwilling, it is distress. Um, Elliot Hulse is someone who introduced that term to me many years ago about the difference between distress and eustress. COVID's put the world into distress right now, where everyone's feeling in a panic and they're at a loss of control. But eustress is something that you choose. And entrepreneurship is a great example of that, where it's like you choose to go into stress um, knowing that you're not going to have all the answers, that it's going to be difficult for a long period of time. You know, trying really trying anything new intentionally is going to put you under some form of eustress. But distress comes when you feel like you're at a loss of control. And so right now, despite feeling like you're at a loss of control, the key to continue to be resilient is to shift your mindset. Shift your mindset from distress to eustress and be willing to continue to endure hardship for a long period of time.